Right up. Broadcasting Network, see you be in where we want to see you be encouraged in Jesus' name. Okay, let's get back into it hard and heavy before something else goes wrong. <laughs> okay, now we are talking about Babylon. Now I'm not talking about like Babylon, Iraq. Babylon is representative of a world power that attempts to rule everybody else in the world. Okay. We've got issues, but it doesn't matter if you can see me or not, as long as you can hear me. Okay. And I know Troy's working on it. Okay. But get your Bible. Because this is really important information. Oh, Rinkage. My king, would you please intervene so we can get this broadcast done in Jesus' name? In Jesus' name. Okay. <clears throat> now, Babylon, if it represented any particular nation, would represent America today. America's the richest, America's the strongest, America is got its hands everywhere. Like I say, 800 military bases around the world. It's ridiculous. We're the ones making the world rich. We're the ones with all these delicacies. We're the ones with the shipping. We're the ones with, and notice this, in verse 16, And saying, alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet. What if that's red, white, and blue? White, fine linen is white. Purple and scarlet. Decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour... So great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company in ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off. How can this be Rome? This can't be Rome because, yes, with the Vatican's the whore of Babylon, but. Babylon itself, the entity, is the world power, the current world power during this time. That's us. This could be red, white, and blue. And decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour so great riches has come to naught. Who's richer than America? And every shipmaster and all the company in ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? What what country what is like this great country? 
And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea. What city in the world? Outside of America. Makes all of the shipping, those who are involved in shipping, rich. It's us. All right. Wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness. For in one hour she is made desolate. Oh, man. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God hath avenged you on her. Reekage. All right. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And the voices of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee. And no craftsman of whatever craft he be shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. There will be no more television communications. There would be no more um, broadcasting from America. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. The merchants of our nation, okay? Were the great men of the earth. They're the globalists. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Who else could it be? And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. Who could it be? And what could cause such devastation in one hour? There is a possibility. If this is when the sixth seal opens Friday, if sighting spring and the strain caused by astronomical elements right now that are very unusual being, being present cause the Yellowstone caldera to blow, that would be the end of America. That would be it. That would be it. It's possible. I've never seen it this way before, but I started thinking about it. God had me thinking about it. And I was thinking, well, okay. What great city in the world would everybody else stand afar off from? Rome isn't making everybody rich. Rome is not making everyone rich. That's the horror of Babylon. But Babylon itself... Could America be Babylon itself? The people of America love God. But you know what? Those who have been running our country don't. They are the wicked. They are the globalists. They are the ones who came and stole our wealth in those ridiculous bank buyouts, bank bailouts. They stole our wealth. They're getting all of their stuff out of here. Moving all their big companies to Europe. They're getting their stuff out of here. What's that all about? One day, death, mourning, and famine. She shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. <clears throat> I don't know, but it's a possibility. If these things caused... See, Yellowstone's already under... A tremendous strain. And this caldera is due 
for some activity, for an eruption. It's been acting weird. We've got rivers boiling in that vicinity. The magma is rising to the surface. And quakes, more and more quakes all the time. All it would take for that thing to blow is the right set of conditions. And if this is the opening of the sixth seal, this could be where America goes down. And this is my country. I love my country, but I also understand that the wicked, the globalists, the disinherited tribe of Dan have used this nation and its wealth and its military to perpetrate crimes all over the world and against the against the will of the American people. It's possible. These questions need, these questions are, are something we have to look at because here in Revelation 18, it keeps saying standing afar off. What other city, what city or nation in the world does this describe except us? In America, I think it describes us perfectly. Unfortunately, it even says fine linen, purple, and scarlet. Purple and blue can be interchangeable, okay? And as the translation comes down, it's possible. Red, white, and blue. Keep in mind that the eagle is the symbol for a vulture. Got more, or are we still having video issues? Troy will fix it. Um, it says what city is like unto this great city. All the things that, there is no nation on the earth like America. Everyone wants to come to America from all over the world. Because they they want to come and make money. This is where you make money. Is that the fornication? You can't serve both God and mammon. So could that be the fornication it's talking about? Because America is rich. And what other city could it be? Do you guys have any questions? I don't see anything right now, but I'm, if you do, I will be glad to try to answer them. Okay. If you do, let's, we'll just see. If Yellowstone blue, that would fulfill the prophecy here. A Babylon being fallen. Babylon is fallen. What other nation is making all those around the world who are involved in shipping rich? Is there another one besides us that's making every nation rich through shipping? Is there another nation that, <coughs> excuse me, that you can stand afar off uh, the rest of the world? Stand afar off? and watch the smoke of her burning. This isn't nuclear. This isn't nuclear. Yellowstone could accomplish that if it blew. Yellowstone could take America down if it blew. Because the ash would cover the entire nation. And what wasn't covered with ash would be a giant triage area. Like Southern California, 
like the southern areas in Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma. It's supposed to come down as far as almost Oklahoma, that ash. And it would go clear across Chicago and all the way to the East Coast. It would cover Washington, D.C. once it reached that far and take us down. It could. It could. Now, I wanted to... I wanted to run this by you. I have never believed that America was Babylon. Because you're looking at a geographic area that contains the European Union, the EU. And the EU will rise in the second half. And then there will be 10 kings that it says they that are not kings yet. They are not kings yet. It's possible. It is possible. Okay. But the, the, the chapter we just read here in chapter 18, there is no other city in the world. There is no other nation in the world that meets that, that this uh, is just, that it describes as perfectly as America. Um, our sister says, hey, but we aren't appointed to wrath. Well, what makes you think that, that that's wrath on Babylon, not on us as believers? It says in verse 23, the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. Oh, man. Straight up.